Welcome to the world, no heroes and villains. Welcome to the war, we've only begun. So pick up your weapon and face it. There's blood on the ground, go and take it. You give one shot to make it out alive. So higher and higher, you're chasing. It's deep in your bones, go and take it. This is your moment. Now is your time, so prove yourself and Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and who will rise here on the final night of the Find Me Alpha LCS regular season for this fall brawl? I am your host, Sean Ninbung Shannon, and I am joined none other by the stat sheet them themselves. It is Rich Girachi <laughs> Maddies. How's it going, Rich? Good. I today I learned I just am the yes. stat spreadsheet. Yes, they are. Sounds. Yeah, as, uh, right. you know, we're waiting to kind of come into this, but looking at these uh, teams right now and where they sit, uh, so as it stands right now, these two are part of the Burrell division with uh, the Bungapalians being 1-0-1, one, and one, uh, having 1-3-1, and one, and Thoughtly Crew being on the exact opposite side as we have jumped in the picks and bands but what are your thoughts going forward as you know we as this uh game is going to be plant panning out tonight i think bong so far has actually looked really good uh thoughtly crew definitely struggled in week one but they showed a lot of promise in week two and i think they absolutely have the potential to take a 2-0 as does bong so really this this matchup like any result could come out of it and i would not be surprised yeah I, I totally agree. I think 
the Thought Lake crew has kind of been helter skelter. There are some games where they look absolutely uh, amazing, uh, and sometimes where they kind of just look a little bit disjunct. And on the side of the Bunga Palians, uh, overall pretty solid team comps, but not always starting off on the right foot for what could bring them some success. Uh, trying to find some really good uh, plays, though, in this mid-game is, is kind of where this team picks up. As we do see these pick bands rolling through, as we've been talking about, uh, the Cho'Gath, Kha'Zix, and Lucian banned out by the Thoughtly crew as Malachi, Aatrox, and Nunu, all champions that possibly... Huh. Guy Fieri could play, but both the junglers are going to be locked in immediately by both teams. Uh, although, if you did see last night, that Kane could go anywhere at this moment. <laughs> Kane mid, baby. Yeah, this the jungle matchup is pretty classic, these two junglers. That's when we see the brand mid come in. That for Bunga Palings probably indicates that Pimp Monkey is going to go mid, although with the whole flex thing, you never really know. Yeah, it, it could... So, we... this, Especially since it's such an early pick, I'm inclined to think that they're using that for the flex factor as the misfortune comes in for Piper, his... Not Piper, sorry, uh, Yermus. Um, that's been classically his best AD carry pretty much in his entire game LCS career, and the Scion comes in. That's... Prob, I want to say that's going to be Guy Fieri in the top lane, but we've, especially last week, we saw a bunch of swapping around from the Thought League crew, so it could always be, say, Zalordo. Yeah, it, it could be a there. Scion support as well. Um, I do like Scion as a blind pick, um, and the Misfortune, as you noted right there, but as I was just about to say, Urgot is Urgot. such a good pick in the top lane, and we did see uh, Zawodo play that last week to great success, and I think it was into an MVP performance, as that will be on the side of the yes. Bunga Palians this time. So uh, I'm expecting Bungaluya to probably be the one to take that champion, uh, but it could be StarCraft as well uh, in that top lane as the Evelyn comes out. Oh, they... they... Yeah, they banned the jungler thinking, hey, the cane mid happened last night. This could be a cane mid, cane mid for Clumsy Chocobo. I'm actually expecting them to throw out maybe a Syndra ban. Um, that's been one of Clumsy Chocobo's best champions, kind of cover their bases as the Leo. If Bunga Palings flex this brand to support, then again, they're going to pretty much dodge any support bans that come out. Yeah, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be really interesting as... Um... You know, as you're saying, with these flex picks going forward, it's um, I'm I'm looking for some sort of mid lane ban here. Maybe it's the Syndra. It could be something else. Yeah. But uh, as it is right there. What I said. Uh, yeah, there's the Syndra, and for Thoughtly Crew, I'm expecting probably a Kaisa ban to come out. Um, Piper is 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 not picking up his ADC yet, and Kaisa is his most played champion. So far, he's played it three times, and Kaisa's been, I think, actually the most picked champion in LCS yeah, Ka period. Or not LCS, in Fall Brawl, so probably Kaisa the Kaisa would be a good one that does here. do well into Sion, but it's going to be the Malzahar. Oh, no, so it's you're not going to be you're probably suspecting the so, possible brand support with yeah. Malzahar mid right there, or vice versa. It could, doesn't matter. Both can suffice in either lane. I'm looking for the AD carry pick right here, knowing that uh, Piper... You know, you don't have to pick it here, but you'd probably rather blind pick or at least move this brand support yeah. either to the support or mid lane and have your opportunity. Oh, they're gonna so they're not they're gonna lock okay, in the recon and make it known that that's going to be a recon support. So the brand will go mid lane, and the only thing that I can possibly think of at this point is that that Graves eighty carry becomes a thing. Uh, it's such a good champion yeah. for Maie, though. Like, that would be kind of suicide as the Xerath looking like the pick against the brand. That's, I mean, lo kind of long range, a lot of burst. That that lane, I feel like, is going to be more of a skill matchup and can go either yeah, way. Yeah, both have stuns uh, that require skill shots to hit for either side. Good follow-up, you know, good CC for these heavy 
ganking junglers right here as we're down the last five seconds. We and it's gonna be a Zara is, support. Wait. Oh, it is Zara support. Oh, wait. Okay. And Pipe, is this Draven? Piper oh, oh picking my God. this for lane most likely. Draven not known as one of the biggest tank killers, although it is just Scion on the other side, and you do have Brand and Urgot to deal with that, but. I'm not too sold on this. I think the Kaisa is not the best pick for the lane, but it probably for the team comp as the Ash gets locked Ash, in for a little okay. bit more CC and follow-up CC. So a uh, pretty interesting draft right here and uh, kind of playing outside the box of huh. the norm that we've expected from both of these teams. Yeah, a lot of a lot of standard picks, but some more outside the box. I mean, the junglers, Kane for Theatric Screams for my A2 I mean, those are basically their best champs, possibly most played throughout their careers. So, and that, the misfortune, thought, um, oh my god, thoughts a uh, player role distribution is still kind of up in the air. We saw Guy Fieri, I believe, played the misfortune for a game. Let me just make sure. Yeah, he played, uh, wait, hold on a second. No, he didn't play misfortune. He played Jin. a game of Jin yeah. when he was ADC. But the mis... So... Let me see. Or it could be Victor support, although I'm pretty sure that would be yeah, worse than Zara's support. And also Victor is one of Clumsy Chocobo's Yeah, Zara support's chance. actually a thing in the higher ELO realm um, for like some high-tier Masters and uh, Challenger-level support players. So I wouldn't be too surprised to see it. It also kind of allows if Morgana, not Morgana, Misfortune ever you know, finds that double up and you can get the stun. There's a lot of poke to be had in that lane, especially against the Rakan Ash lane. Now, the push early will definitely be with the Ash because of the W volley. Uh, so they're going to probably try to be looking for level two because that is a very, very immobile lane in the bottom lane for the Thoughtly crew. Yeah, the thing, I mean, the thing about this uh, Thought bot lane, though, they're going to have so much poke. I mean, if Piper doesn't start a Doran shield, start something like a Doran's blade. I think that's just flat out wrong. Xerath and Misfortune poking you for days like you want that extra regen. But yeah, if they can make it out of lane alive and not die and maybe go if they go down like 10 CS, that is absolutely a win for Bung because they're gonna be not so much more effective in team fights because Misfortune still has a lot of team fight potential, but Xerath is really gonna need to snowball um lane to be effective on support item well support i mean income. i can um, tell you this mid, if mid it's game. if it's who i think it is and that's probably zawardo uh on that uh i can see yeah. the Zareth being a glacial augment Zareth to, to make the lower economy oh wait happen really for him uh with getting uh I hate you, Bicer. I'm sorry. I just read chat and I just nearly lost my <laughs> crap. Um, I should open chat as, and that makes but, some uh, you know, so. <laughs> the world likes to pull out some very uh, interesting things. Uh, and I think that it's right up his alley is Glacial Augment. But, you know, probably going to go for the standard comment, but I would not be surprised. Get that, um, you know, easy stacks on your support item. And then follow it up with the, um, what is it, the Twin Shadows to get easier picks for the rest of your team. Uh, that slow is really, really strong as well. So, um, yeah, unless, unless it's Guy Fieri taking the Zara support, which I still think yeah, it's Yeah, I Zaworldo. think if it's it for anybody, it would be Zoworldo no, and everyone else. Just kind of, like, I think this game... For the most part, on the side of thought, we'll go standard chalk for lane assignments. But when we come over to the other side for the Bug yeah. of uh, I think the only one that's locked in to a uh, position would be Maye and uh, Pimp Monkey on their respective champions. Uh, obviously, yeah. Piper is going to be playing the Ash unless there's uh, a oh, yeah. switch between StarCraft and him. But I'm, I'm really expecting... Bungaluya to play this Rakan and having Starcraft go back to his rightful air quote 
place in top of <laughs> no matter how much he said he hates it. Oh, my God. Uh, I just think Urgot would be a, is a champion that he would play, but I wouldn't put it past uh, Bungal- Bungaluya as well. I think... Let me... Let me do some looked up, because... Yay for stats. I... Th- hmm... I don't know, like, the one the one game so far that Bungalulia ha- has played top, it was, um, it was Nar, and that's not quite the same, but, like, short range, range champion that's kind of up, um, kind of up the alley of Bungalulia. Yeah, and it looks like... Uh, uh, wait, so, like, also, Guy Fieri... Maybe taking the Zer. So, oh wait. Nah, that's that's a troll. What? The? Yeah, but it's post. Well, okay. Seconds. Well then, well they didn't change post, but this is no. This Unless, is this like, is this, this is, is some, probably gonna happen. So the summoner spells are gonna change, what? and it's gonna be Theatrics bid okay. on the Zerith. Or Theatrics. Support. Uh, and Guy Fieri taking yeah, the Yeah, and cannon that was something jungle. that I thought yeah, they could have done it. last. Uh, they could have done it last okay. week because they did run the cane. And both of these guys do play a pretty good cane. Obviously, Theatrics more known for it. Um, but you have that flexibility to where now Theatrics will most likely be going Comet in the bot lane. And it's how they found success and their win last week when he was on that pike against the Tingly Pinglies. Um, that the bottom lane duo of Euromus and Theatrics really paying dividends. Uh, so I believe the lane that we once thought is look a little bit harder for the side of what we see now as Starcraft and Piper is Isis uh, right there. So it will be Bungaluga in the top lane. Um, Rich, who, do you, who are you going to give this to uh, game one and why? Oh, man. This is hard. Like, but the thing, hmm. Thought, yeah. Thought have more like team fight oriented comp. Like Zareth fits in like a little bit weirdly, but as long as Guy Fieri goes Red Cane, they have plenty of AOE team fight potential. You get the Scion engage in with a Misfortune Bullet Time, and that's gonna do massive damage. On the other hand. Bung have built up more of a pit composition with still some AoE team fight potential off of a con engage or Ash arrow finding a pick. I wanna hmm. I want I wanna give it to Bung. I think their team comp is a little more well rounded, not by that much. And Yeah. I I'm gonna give yeah, that's I, that's why I got my, my younger I'm gonna yeah over. and see that last thing you just hit I'm gonna give it to Bung but not because I think the team comp's better I actually prefer the team comp holistically from the side of the Thoughtly crew more so but because of the comfort champion of Graves and uh, Pimp Monkey's brand right there also I just think the Urgot is so incredibly strong although Zawardo should know the matchup playing it last week. Um, so I just think that they're going to do it because I think Maye might exert so much pressure on the map uh, in the early parts of the game. Probably going to be 2-0-1 by 11 minutes is what I'm expecting, something like that. Kane needs to get his form pre-14 minutes. Uh, and I, I believe Red Kane has to be it, but that means he has to focus Rakan for that last tick because he is the only non-range champion on that side. Yeah, true. Well, All right. <laughs> Theatrix is so scared of getting smashed by my A that he just decided yeah, I, to go I, support. I, I that's, my, that's my bit of banter so for So let us know in chat if you think uh, who's uh, going to win. Give me a hashtag thought win or a hashtag bung win. Let us know in chat as we are getting locked and loaded ready for game one here between. When Men Bung is casting, Bung always wins. I'll praise Lord Bung. Uh, I don't know who that guy is. I'm your friendly neighborhood OP underscore TSM underscore fan. Oh, uh, Brontosaurus is um, yes. one, Dan. Is one of the guys in Overwatch League. Oh, wait. Yep. Is he on Ocean's 11 on represent. Right. If Thought oh, can man. stay safe, they oh. get the win. 
You know what? I think it's going to be the team who dies the least and kills the Nexus first. I mean, that tends to be that that tends to be what wins games, dying, not dying and I killing think the I Nexus. think whoever kills the Nexus first has a 95% chance of winning. Well, it is by the way, it is yeah, the common brand. You mean Zareth? But it Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zareth, sorry. Yeah, that's what I meant. Um, well, I mean, yeah. I'm not wrong. Comet Brand is in this game. <laughs> but let's let's see some other other notable keystones. Guy Fury actually taking the Electrocute, not opting for the Dark Harvest as become much more popular on um on junglers. Yeah. But we got and a couple of summon Ares from Clumsy Chocobo's Victor and Starcraft for Khan. Nice. Yeah, I yeah. think the Starcraft for Khan. Oh, Here comes God. the Dark Harvest though. Uh, from the graves, which I really, really like. Although, I yes. think, you know, there's probably someone on the other team who thinks it has to be press the attack. I don't know who that would be, but... Uh, <laughs> no, it'd be, my be, it'd be Theatrix. Is it Theatrix? Um, oh, okay. <laughs> he might be taking Dark Harvest. So, I would like to point out a couple yeah. things. Bungaluya is supporting Genji, so you know he's a treasonous fool, because he doesn't support NA. Theatrix supporting right. the only team that's good, C9, and I got a unable to download Spectator client, so there we go. Uh, and then Guy Fieri supporting TL because he likes people who are bot. No. Okay, cool. League of Legends working yeah. as intended as normal. Wonderful. Well, we should be able to yeah. just um, spectate off someone now. Wait, why can't I spectate? What the heck? Wait, I need to try restarting the client. Alistar Moody, would you want me to address something from the chat while you told me to not pay attention to chat and focus on stream when I'm dealing with stream right now? Also, if I may, I'll start music. I'll start music. I'll start Moody, also known as Slagger, is in fact the coach for Bones. Yeah. So, so that really good. Yeah, we can't. We can't. Yeah, spectate. hold on. What Give me a hell? second, because this is not going well. Uh... Wow. Thanks, Rito. What? Okay. Because there's no game to focus on right now, Alistar Moody. I don't know if you're watching the stream. <laughs> Hondix 3 grants coaching Piper because duh, but also because Par has a coach already. <laughs> oh, man. Par, Par had a coach from before. Before the draft even happened, I'm messaging one of the members. It's going to keep restarting mm. the client. Okay, they are currently paused for us. Cool. Yeah, we just can't spectate them. And Geo, you wouldn't let me coach you if sure. I wanted to, Omega Lol. What is up with... Oh, God. What's up with spectate? I'm going to go uh, to Reddit right now and find a... 
find out. Just go to Reddit. We can always also cast over a VOD or something later. Perfect start to stream. Woo! Well, this one is not our fault, so. What was the exact wording of the message? Uh, I don't know. Do you remember? Know. Wait, unable to down. Unable to download. Spectator okay, data. you know what? Okay, Let's so something's see. wrong with the way they made the lobby, in my opinion. Because I can go spectate Juice Me Blue. I c yeah. Well, let's. Oh, wait, they might have set it up so it was the spectators were only from the lobby. Yeah, this is... And that's why we can't get back yeah, in. Yeah, so... That's what Eric said. Okay, he said, well... He said, he said it, it lobby only for spectators. Y'all should have been able to. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Why would you do that knowing how the right games is? I mean, it's not, it's not intentionally anyone's okay. fault. I'm just saying it's... We should never do that. I... Yeah, proposal... Um, they, they send us, so once this game's over, they send us the replay from, someone sends us a replay from the client, we cast it while they're playing game two, then they do the same for game two, or we just cast them in reverse, so we'll, like, we cast game two, and then just go back and do a replay of game one. I don't know, man. I vote the I latter, vote, actually. I vote, I vote okay, they play so... game one, they tell us what happened, and then we stream game two. Eh, I still need a replay of game one, though, for yeah. like the some of the stats. <clears throat> yeah, they paused cool. the game, but they also made it to where you can only spectate if you're in the lobby, so if anything happens... then we can't do anything. Like, I, c I can't go back in to spectate them because I'm not in the lobby anymore because we got kicked from Riot. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know if we can force them to remake the lobby. Or not the lobby, just remake the game entirely because they're probably, like, eight minutes in or something. At least. Yeah, they're not going to remake it. So there you go. Game one goes to Riot. They win this round. Um, good draft by them.
unstoppable. I couldn't even see it. Yeah. Yeah, same dude. How is finding out their time gonna help? They're already they're already playing. Like they're they've already decided we can't force them to do anything else. We do the stream yeah. as a courtesy to the viewers and everybody. And them as well for VOD purposes. But if they both agree as captains and teams, then there's nothing we can do as streamers or mod members. Yeah, I th we should we should still cast over a replay, I think. But That's fine, I'll do that another time. Yeah, well... Uh, let me think. I mean, so we don't have to do, like, pick ban... So it's about, well, we're not making I mean, like them half an hour or anything. something. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, they did. Yeah, they did can, pause like, because we were right. trying to figure it out. So. Okay. Let's. Uh, Geo has a good point. Let's end the stream and then restart once game two hits. I think. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Well, we will be right back, boys. I'll make a Facebook post once um, we